It was an emotional evening at the Skating Club of Boston on December 27th. Family and friends of Austin Rainer came together to pay a tribute to the former hockey player who died tragically in a motorcycle accident last year. Sports reporter Ron Marshallsey shares this touching tribute. Norwood Walpole hockey games are always a spectacle to watch, with fans wrapped around the rink to witness these longtime rivals face off. But this game on December 27th, 2023 was bigger than a rivalry game. The Norwood hockey community came together to honor number 30, Austin Reardon, who tragically passed away earlier in 2023 at the age of 22. Austin, his twin brother Aiden, his sister Delaney, his brother Garrett, and parents Kerry and Ed have been familiar faces at Norwood Hockey Games since Austin and Aiden could first lace up a pair of skates. NCM commentator Mark Hoover delivered a touching tribute to Austin before the game began. Following in his father's footsteps, Austin gravitated towards being a hockey goalie, and once there, he threw himself into the position with a passion for the game second to none. As Austin continued to grow, so did his goaltending skills. After securing the starting goalie position at Norwood High School, he helped turn a team that had not won a single game his freshman year to missing the state tournament by one point his sophomore year. And Austin was not finished yet. Behind his stellar goaltending, the Mustangs made the state tournament his junior year, defeating the number one seeded team along the way. Another state tournament appearance followed his senior year, along with several accolades, including team captain, first team TVL All-Star, and the TVL Goalie of the Year. Austin, with his help from his brother Aiden on defense, finished his hockey career here at Norwood High School with a record of 29 wins, 23 losses, 13 ties, including seven shutouts his senior year. Austin continued his hockey career as an honor student and was a valuable member of the main men's club hockey team at the time of his passing. Austin Reardon epitomized what it means to be a team captain. He had an infectious enthusiasm for life, a sense of humor that would light up any locker room, and a positive attitude that he shared with each and every teammate that ever had the privilege to play with him. Tonight, we honor the memory of Austin Reardon with the dedication of this season to number 30. As part of Austin's lasting memory, a scholarship has been started in his name, and tonight we'll find raffle items in the lobby to help support this most worthy cause. Aiden Reardon was led out to center ice by senior captain Andrew Gillis for a ceremonial puck drop to get the game started. After the first period, Aiden joined Mark Hoover and Sean Hennessy in the commentary booth to talk about what it was like playing on defense for the Mustangs with Austin in net behind him. Joining us, this afternoon, it's just a, a true privilege to see this young man, uh, Mr. Uh, Aiden Reardon, puck drop number eight, class of, class of 2019. Can you hear us okay, my friend? I can hear you guys. Oh, perfect. Welcome. Listen, you, you know, uh, a really touching ceremony today for you and for your family. Um, it's just so nice to be back, you know, here at, at the rink. Tell us, you know, obviously, you know, as your twin brother, what it was like to play play with like right in front of Austin right on that defense oh yeah it was a blast I mean or a handful of times I'm just remembering now where he bailed me out I'd make a dumb play <laughs> he'd save me you know uh, but it was so fun to play in front of him he always amazed me every night with some of the saves that he made he was always a great team player yeah. you know first one to uh, greet the boys coming back in the locker room despite how we played yeah um, so, so speaking of which I want to I want to recant a story that I have and I I think I got it right because I verified it like three times yeah. maybe your okay. memory's not okay. as good as everybody else's but uh, when you guys were sophomores we had a game at Badge Co against Needham and oh, yeah. uh, so in that game uh, I was just talking to Sean Monroe before we came in and he said uh, he, he thinks his recollection is Austin laid in a goal that wasn't that wasn't the best and he and Austin kind of got into it in between periods about, uh, well, you know, if you did your job and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so fast forward to the end of that hockey game. And, uh, and again, uh, Mr. Hoover brought it up. Uh, you know, we're 0-19 and 1 the year before. You guys are sophomores, and we're fighting these Bay State teams just to get back to relevance. And I'm sitting in the stands, probably next to your mother, because I stood next to her a lot. And we're probably sitting there praying that we somehow hang on and win. 
And I think Needham had a man advantage at the end of the game. And there's a bang-bang play to end the game where Needham has the puck come across. And your brother does a split that I don't think anybody could ever do. And he <laughs> saves a puck with like a minute left to preserve a 3-2 win. Do you remember that game at all? I remember it exactly. <laughs> was I right? Yeah. Oh, 100% right. <laughs> and yes, he was the four first one to greet the boys, but we would get into it too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we would get into it, especially me and him, him and Sean as well. Right. Uh, but yeah, exactly right. Like when he when he let in a soft one, we let him know it. But then, like you said, I think it was it was a one goal game. I want to say it, it was, was three, three two. two. Yeah, I, I three to two. It, I verified exactly. it. I verified I remember with Charlie Gover it. and PJ. <laughs> three to two. Slid. I was on the ice. Slid across, and oh my God! Like I didn't even. I was like my jaw dropped. But yeah, yeah he uh, he got one back, and we held on to the game. But you had to know good. how bad we were the year before, and how oh, much like that right, win like, like meant that, so yeah. much for you meant guys. Meant so much, especially yeah. And him kicked our well, kicked our butts <laughs> right. the year before, and, <laughs> right, uh, right. So it was definitely a, right. a big win. And then the other the other really memorable moment I have of your brother is that same season when we played the undefeated Walpole team. Do you remember that? That Super 8 Walpole team yes, that, was, I that do. was 20 and 0, and we played. Yeah. I think this same time it was like a New Year's Eve game. We lost three to two, mm -hmm. and uh, Austin was just unbelievable in that game, yeah, just keep, keeping us in that hockey game. I don't know if you remember that or not, but I it, do. It was a, it was a, it was a, it was a packed rank like this, and he was at the top of his game that day. Yeah, was, he it was. was a, it was a great day. It was, so. it was a great day. It was a great to see. It was, I was, like I said, always a great time to, to play in front of him, especially. With the Nord sweater, all yeah. the boys we grew grew up playing with, you know, and that's why today was such a great moment to just, like you said, come back on the Nord ice, Nord versus Walpole. Yeah. I mean, it's legendary, and like to to see the young faces put on the jersey. I mean, I remember when we were doing it. Right. So it was it was I was very grateful for the organization to do that for me and my family. Yeah. Nord was down one to nothing after one, but didn't let Walpole score another until the Mustangs had scored five themselves. A perfect ending to a special night, the Norwood Mustangs defeated Walpole 5-3. NCM is honored that we were able to be there for this night, celebrating not only an excellent hockey player, but an incredible person. I had the privilege to direct that broadcast, and it continues to amaze me how our community rallies together to support one another, especially in the most difficult of times. Thanks to Ron Marshalsey for producing that special tribute.